What's up you guys, it's me, your girl Cece, and I'm back today with another video for that is. I'm sure y'all have read that caption so you know why I'm here and I know why y'all here. Let's jump right into the video and get things shut popping, okay? <laughs> What's up, you guys? I know I haven't been on my channel in quite some time because I'm just gonna be honest, I've been being very lazy. Um, I'm pregnant here, I'm nine months pregnant, okay? Um, I plan on doing more videos as I do have time off of work now. Um, I'm officially on maternity leave as of yesterday. Um, this is just a quick update about the pregnancy. I'm 38 weeks today. Um, I'm not doing till May 7th, but if some of you guys may know that have been following me via Snapchat or Facebook, I will be getting induced tonight. Well, technically tomorrow, which is Friday, the 24th. Um, due to complications in the pregnancy, my doctor ruled me high risk back um, in the beginning of my third trimester. Um, my blood pressures are really sky high. like to the point where he needed to see me twice a week and I was getting ultrasounds twice a week. I just had my last appointment yesterday. I'm one centimeter dilated. That ain't much, but I mean, it's something. <laughs> so what, what the plans are as of today, I have to call the hospital at 10 o'clock and see if they have any beds ready for me. And I'm supposed to be a priority since I am high risk. And um, my doctor told me to let them know that. So I guess if they don't have room for me, they'll call me back or give me a set time to come back. I don't know. This is different. I don't know if it's an Arizona thing, but back home, back in Wisconsin, I got induced. I came bright and early, like five o'clock in the morning, but I do remember it wasn't a room for me or something like that. And the doctor ended up calling me back and I had came later in the morning than I, that I was scheduled. So I don't know, but I'm being induced. So today is like the official last day of me being pregnant. And I just don't know how to feel like, I'm the only one woke right now. I've been up since like 7.30, it's almost nine. Um, just, you know, letting my thoughts sink in and emotions and stuff. I had a total meltdown yesterday because like I just got freaked out I'm scared like I mean I think every mother gets some type of fear before they deliver it's just natural of course um, I'm a strong believer in God and I know he got my back and he's gonna bless me and he's gonna take care and shield my baby girl and myself during this delivery it's just I still just have you know fears you know what I'm saying um, anything could go wrong. Every labor is different. You know what I'm saying? So, and then with this coronavirus, you know, COVID-19 going on, my mom and my sister can't be there. Like my mom and sister have never missed a birth. Um, my other sister is back home in Wisconsin. She would have been here. I know for a fact, if this virus was not going on, she would have been here. You know what I'm saying? Um, so like they're usually my support team like her both of them through all three of them and my boyfriend you know they're that's all i need to make me feel secure you know what i'm saying and i just i'm really feeling some type of way and i promised myself i was not going to try to get emotional in this video but i know i'm pregnant emotions are up here you know what i'm saying like just even talking about this is making me want to get emotional because like I really, really, really want them there. But you know, my sister gave me a pep talk yesterday. She brought me back down to relaxation. Blood pressure was high yesterday because of this. Like I'm just totally freaking out. But I have had these strangers in the room already. So like, it's just gonna be me and Bay. And it's like, I hope, I'm not giving him enough credit maybe, but like, I just know that my mom I'm just used to routine and that's all I know is my mom them being there my mom's a supportive one baby you okay want to rub on me you know keep me calm my sister is on the nurses the doctors asking them what's their names and what they doing like she's on them like white on rice do you hear me like she's 
awesome. Like, and Bay, he usually just there for moral support. Like, like he should be. And he helped me, you know, with my last pregnancy on the pregnancy ball and stuff like that. But it's just like, I just feel like my mom is more, she can show more compassion towards me and comfort me better because she's been there, done that. She's had a baby. She has three babies. My sister has two babies, you know what I'm saying? And my other sister, she she cool too. She keeps me sane, you know what I'm saying? We crack jokes. We used to have fun. Like, I'm just salty. Like, I'm just feeling some type of way that this labor is just going to be me and him. But I sat here and talked about this. This is not what this video is about. But, like, overall, I want my baby girl to eventually see this video and that we are so happy and we can't wait to meet you. Like, I'm so overwhelmed right now. Like, I'm lost for words. Like, I'm trying not to say something that's gonna make me cry. <laughs> but um, your brothers are so excited to see you. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna let them say something in the video. So when they get older, they'll see it like y'all loved each other. <laughs> At some point you guys loved each other because I know how siblings are. You guys fight as y'all get older and then y'all love on each other when y'all are adults. That's how it's supposed to go. I know every family isn't like that. But um, I just want to say that this is like a dream come true. I've always wanted a baby girl, but I don't want to take away the precious moments that I had with Delante, the precious moments I had with Zamir. I want them to know that just because I'm getting a baby girl that I've always wanted doesn't mean I ever regret them. Like, I, I'm so happy if I had to do it again, I would do it exactly the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, Delante was my first love. He always would be my first love. He showed me the true meaning of, okay, okay, I knew this was gonna happen and don't mind this nail, I can't get it off. But he literally showed me the true definition of love at first sight, like, oh my God, he made me the woman that I am today. He's about to be eight this year and like, I'm just so proud to be his mom. And Samir, he is so sweet, but he's a little devil and he's my twin. And um, he acts just like me and that's in a, in a bad way. Like, he has all my bad characteristics. <laughs> I'm getting paid back. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> but um, I didn't want to cry, but like, all my kids mean something to me and I know I'm not the only mom who feel like this. I just don't want, I don't want my love for them to go unnoticed just because the baby girl coming because every kid has an issue. Like they're really, really, really happy. They cannot wait for her to get here, but I don't think they understand that she's like, I know they understand, but like, it's just different when this stuff is reality. Like, you know, they're gonna be jealous because the little girl, baby girl gonna be getting all the attention. Especially from down from her dad, me, even from her brothers, to her, my nieces, to my mom and to my sister. Like, it's been a long time coming. We ain't had a little baby in the house in quite some time. So I just don't want them to feel left out. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, we were crazy and excited about their births and them coming as well. And I want them to know that. Um, but I'm so happy that I finally got my baby girl and she will be here. I know she's listening to mommy right now and I'm sitting here crying. But um, I'm just so happy. Like, I don't know what this video... Whew, is gonna really be about um i don't know if i'll make a separate video for the labor and delivery i plan on bringing the camera along and trying to get as much footage as i can um 
hopefully y'all can see me, you know, going through some contractions. And I know I probably won't be able to get her actually being born due to we're going to be so focused. And I know I'm going to be in pain. I ain't going to be thinking about no camera. And Bay, I just can't see him being the perfect cameraman. Um, but I want to get as much footage for my mom and sisters and for you guys, you know, my subscribers um, to keep up what's going on. Um, I don't know if I left anything out. I will reveal her name um, and I'm going to reveal her. I, I don't know what I really want to do. I don't want to be that bougie mama that says her baby's too good to be on the internet, but like that's how I'm feeling right now. Like I don't want to post her on Facebook, but a lot of my family are on Facebook. My bad, my, my camera went dead, but um, about me posting her on social media, um, I do have a lot of family that follow me on Facebook. Um, I rarely use Instagram and I'm always on Snapchat. Um, as of now, I'm feeling I don't want to post her, but I know in the long run, I will share her with everyone. Um, it's nothing against anybody personally. It's just, I want to be stingy with my baby girl because I just know that it's a lot of people that are following me, but they're not really for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be another topic of discussion for a little hot minute and then they're going to forget about us. So, um, it's gonna be a lot of people lurking and not commenting. You know, she'll blow up the first day I post her and as the days go on, I'll get less and less and less, you know, likes. And I don't wanna put my baby on a display like that to, you know, give her less credit because she deserves all the credit because I know she's gonna be adorable. And um, I don't want nobody to make me feel no type of way of some damn likes, you know what I'm saying? Because that doesn't define her. But y'all know how social media got its way of trying to, you know, you know, mess with people head. You looking at my stuff, but oh, she cute or whatever, but I ain't gonna like it. Like I'm trying to avoid those people, you know what I'm saying? But I might post her here and there. Y'all just have to wait and see. Um, but overall, this pregnancy has been very, very interesting and unique. Like, um, it's totally different from my other pregnancies. Um, my gender reveal was everything. Like, I was so excited when I first found out I was having a baby girl. I cried then. Like, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a joke. Um, I really appreciate my cousin-in-law for throwing that um, nice gender reveal for me. Um, that's something that I can um, have in my memories as well. I wanted to document a lot of this pregnancy, but I was unable to because I guess I just got lazy. Like, I wanted to do more videos for y'all while pregnant, but it just didn't work out like that. But I do plan on doing more videos maybe um, while I'm off on maternity leave. I'll have more time to focus and make some videos because I do still um, appreciate all my subscribers and I do want to... Um, you know, keep up with my channel. Um, but um, overall, guys, I'm excited. And again, this pregnancy was everything. It started off rocky. I was very sick in the beginning. My skin, oh my God, like they said, little girls take your beauty. She really did. Like, she had me breaking out every day. It'll clear and then come back, clear, and come back. So I kind of knew that I was having a girl, but I just didn't want to be disappointed because I do have two boys. And I'm just like, it could be another boy, you know what I'm saying? But um, everything worked out for the best and God has truly blessed us. Like I can't thank him enough. I mean, I could not thank him enough. I'm a strong believer and I know that everything happens for a reason. And he said it was time and he, he, he gave us everything we needed. So um, I'm gonna try to wrap this up because this was just a random video I wanted to put up on my channel before she actually gets here. Um, just to show the excitement and everything. And I did wanna get the boys involved, but they're still sleeping. I was gonna have them say, you know, cute little message to their little sister because Zamir, he's been so, 
<laughs> supportive. Like he's gonna be a big brother and he's so excited. He can't wait to, as he says, feed her and walk her. I said, no, you did it. Like my baby girl is not a pet and she's not a dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Delante wants to teach her how to walk and um, talk. That's what he said. Um, he does, he has so many questions. Um, I even try to you know break it down to him how babies are born, not how they were made, but how they are born because it's two different things. So he's cool with it. How I told him and everything, he he didn't really freak out or anything like I thought he would. But um, my boys are so so ready and I'm so ready to I just want to bring my family together and I just can't stand that this whole coronavirus is going on I'm used to having my feet and nails did before labor and stuff like that I'm going to a nice restaurant treating myself before I go in or something like that like I did that with the first labor because I was induced um, but with Zamir it was straight to the hospital from work he's coming and I stopped my fat butt at Culver's and got me a double butter burger, bacon burger, shake and fries. <laughs> I don't know what today meal will consist of, but um, I plan on eating good today too. And the last time, you know, to pig out, you know what I'm saying? Because I plan on losing this weight. I, I think I still look good, you know what I'm saying? But I carry my pregnancies very well because I'm so tall and my torso is very long. Um, it's just that every mommy goes through that stage after you have your baby, you're not feeling like yourself and you wanna get back to you because I lost a lot of weight before I got pregnant with her and I was loving it. And I just know it's gonna take time to get back there. I got my race, waist trainer locked and loaded, it's ready. <laughs> as I get the okay from my doctor. But um, I don't think I left anything out. Um, like I said, this pregnancy was everything. I enjoyed all my pregnancies. They all mean something special to me and I just wanted that to go on record. Um, we still have a lot of things to gather around the house for her. Like her pack and play ain't put together. We ain't took her car seat out. We do have her rocker and her bassinet together. And I just want to give a special thanks to my family and friends who have purchased things off my registry. Um, I really, 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 really appreciate y'all. I'm so upset. I was, I'm going to say I, I'm upset, but I already knew what we were dealing with with this pandemic going on, that I wasn't going to be able to have a baby shower. So a lot of them came through. Like a lot of y'all came through for your girl and I just truly, truly appreciate it. Like. That's what family is for and that's what friends are for. I just I just wanna say personally, I thank you. I will reach out to each and every one of y'all individually. I uh, ain't gonna do y'all like that, but um, if you're watching, I just wanted y'all to know that y'all, nothing that, nothing that was purchased on my registry is gonna go unnoticed. I really, really appreciate y'all. To the diapers, to the, you know, whatever was purchased. It was a lot of stuff. I think I had like, y'all bought, I got like almost 30 items purchased, I think somewhere near there. But um, thank you. Like I could have had a virtual baby shower, but I wasn't really thinking. And it's gonna be a long video. So I really appreciate you if you're still hanging in there listening to me talk. Cause I, as y'all can tell, I love to run my mouth. Um, but um, I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm gonna post this today and then I'm gonna start a new video tonight trying to get as much footage of the labor part, you know, me prepping for labor and things like that. Um, I'm just, don't really know what to expect. Like, I'm, like this is my first time. Like, I hope that I can do this natural. I go into every labor saying I wanna go natural and then when stuff gets real, like when that eight centimeters come, huh. Give me the drugs, hunty. Give me the drugs. Like, I don't even care anymore. Like, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give breastfeeding my all this time. Um, I just hope that my milk comes in this time. Cause last time it came after, like three days later. Like, but I didn't give it my all. I wanna give it more um, 
I want to try harder this time, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, I don't really got much to say. At this point, I'm just talking. It's going to be like a 20 minute video and y'all probably not going to even watch it all. But for y'all that are are still here with me, I thank you and really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And turn on those post notifications so y'all won't miss the next upload because I do have um, another video I would like to do. And drop in the comments of what type of videos y'all want me to see, like uh, morning routines. I already did cooking. Um, I do have a ring light coming in by June. I ordered it off Amazon so I could do more um, footage, get more better footage for you guys and um, things like that. But yeah, it's getting dry. I'm at 10 minutes already, so. Thank you all for tuning in. It was really, really fun sitting down, getting my feelings off my chest. Um, until next time, peace.